Hi, my name is Christoph Julie. I'm part of the research and development team at Appendorf. Recently, I've been asked the following question. Using fluorescence dyes to determine the sample concentration of nucleic acid or proteins, for example, means that a sample-specific fluorescence dye will attach itself to or incorporate into the specific sample structure. Once such an interaction takes place, the fluorescence dye emits a signal at a certain wavelength upon excitation with another specific wavelength of light. This process is sample-specific. Dyes for single-stranded DNA will only interact with single-stranded DNA, not with RNA or double-stranded DNA. Likewise, dyes for double-stranded DNA will not interact with single-stranded DNA or RNA. When nucleic acid quantification is performed using absorption measurements, the signal measured will include all nucleic acids present in the sample, regardless of what type. More than one fluorescence dye molecule can attach to a nucleic acid strand which amplifies the signal. This is the reason for the higher specificity and sensitivity of fluorescence detection when compared to photometric absorption measurements. If you'd like to see how Appendorf's photometers can cover absorption, fluorescence and microvolume measurements in one device, please visit our website and have a closer look at the detection portfolio.